Hello and welcome to another Sh Shaver Ranch plus Wolves. Howdy folks! Coming to the end of the season, I tell you. Yeah. Picked all the beans today. Most of them are dry, so we're just going to cook them up as beans. You know? mm -hmm. Stick them in a pot, that's the way I like them. Still have a few green beans that we might cook up. But, we took all the beans off. Next up is to take these out, but our trash can's full. Well, actually, these will probably go in the compost pile. Yeah. But anyway, come over here. Clean things up. Poor little guys. Could never get a chance. All buried in the squash and everything, but now we cleaned it all up. These might pop up because they're cool weather vegetables anyway. Yeah. These have plenty of room. That um, pumpkin came off, so it's sitting over on the patio. Yep. These mm. pumpkins are still growing. You can kind of see our pumpkin in the hammock now. Yep. Our bandana hammock. We picked a few berries and ate them today. Berries last in the cold weather, right? Yeah. Oh. This actually looks pretty cool. If anybody knows what this is, we don't know. <laughs> it just kind of popped so up. So if I share it on Everything Gardens, get uh, some of the foliage too. Yeah. And there's some flowers. Uh, oh, here. Here's okay. flowers. Here's flowers. They are purple and yellow variety, if you can see. And there's what the berries look like. Unripe. Yeah. So if anybody knows what this is, it's just growing wild in my garden, and I don't know if it's poisonous or if it's edible or anything in between, and I'm not going to find out by eating it. <laughs> so these little guys are still popping up. We've had a couple of days of... Uh, Frost. Frost got below freezing yep, so, on Thursday. Um, and some of the deer have gotten in over here, as we'll see in a minute. And uh, between the deer and the frost, a lot of it was done. So we are coming to a close. Yep. I might be getting some stock footage of uh, some firearm stuff on the, Tuesday uh, morning before work. So oh, Good. We had this all brought out, as you'll remember in previous videos, but we decided to clean it up just put it back staple it back for now and so all of this the deer had come and pushed this fence down and eaten a bunch of tomatoes and stuff but um, we harvested a lot today so it didn't all go to waste we still had plenty I'll show you uh, at the end of this video yeah. all of the uh, harvest that we got now I picked a bunch of corn and just pulled a bunch of stalks out that were done and I have the stalks over on the deck drying because they're good fall decorations. Yep. So got a lot of corn in there. Now, I've noticed a lot with the corn is a lot of them are really small. And I'm still learning. I'm not an expert at this. And uh, I think I've got it too crowded. Now, with the limited space that we have, I want to jam as much into my garden as possible. But I think it's just not working. I'm going to have to spread it out. I put it closer together this year and I'm getting little tiny ears of corn all mixed in there. Yeah. Not all of them. I still got great corn, but it could be better. Yep. Got a little melon still down there growing, but we took all the squash out because it, uh, between the powdery mildew and the frost, um, it was done. You can see where I hilled the potatoes. Of course, these potatoes are done. They're ready to pick, but we don't need to eat any right now. And they're safe in the ground right now, so I'm not going to pull them yet. Yep. And uh, what my dad just said about everything, we're no experts. You know, that goes for if you're following our uh, my tool building processes, too. You know, most of it comes from my uh, good old hero and YouTube personality, Wrangler Star. I'd love to give a shout-out for him, you know. Yeah, he's a great guy. I wish I could afford some of his $600 boots. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> This guy was done, so I just pulled this tomato out. And these guys, as you can see, frost, and I think it, maybe the deer reached over and nibbled some of the top. Yep. So the tomatoes are almost done. Still got potatoes over there that, as we've said in earlier videos, I didn't, I, I want to build them all the way up. So it that, is surprising that uh, over there, those still look healthy and yeah. not dying out yet. They were so. the last ones that I planted. Oh, well that makes sense and then. And the other videos showed that it took a long time for them to pop out of the ground. Mm-hmm. So they're still good, but like I said, next year, build the slats all around the boxes, build them all the way up, 
grow potatoes all the way inside. We're the prepared box. this time. Every year we get a little more prepared mm -hmm. and a little bit more stocked up. And had a bunch of squash in here. Of course, the frost killed them. So we we got a lot of squash out of them. So I see carrots in there yeah. though. Carrots are cool weather, so they're still growing in there. Nothing they in survive. There. Got some turnips in here and carrots, so we might get a few things out of that. Still look really healthy. That is kohlrabi, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but it, it grows above the ground. It's like a turnip, but yeah. it grows above the ground. You mentioned it last episode. Yeah. Some more carrots over there. More carrots. And again, <laughs> I got that guy. <laughs> yeah. Our medicinal herb, we'll call. Yeah. Antihistamine. See, I remembered it this time. There you go. And, well... Yeah, it doesn't really pertain to the Shaver Ranch garden section, but here's all of our, uh, we'll call backup wood from that tree that we fell in the front yard. We're going to try to split it. It was very dead, so it should be easy to split, although we're worried about how many knots that are in there. We'll see how it goes. Be a good test for the new tools that, that I just uh, made in the last episode. There All right. Corn stalks over there. I think Brandon's cutting up some old apples for the deer. Yep. <laughs> old apples. So the stalks are up there. They're going to dry out. Mm -hmm. There's that uh, uh, pumpkin that we got. Pumpkin there too. And, and right over here. These poor guys didn't have a chance because they broke off the vine or the vine was dead before they could uh, before they could mature yeah. yeah so over here is the bounty hey, Brutus never mind the trash uh -huh. see we couldn't put this in the compost pile because it's got powdery mildew on it and that will overwinter and affect next year's garden yep here's all the beans mm. ah, there's a lot of beans here's some corn see not all of them are small a bunch of tomatoes that's just today very large too we have a bunch of squash still in the basement, ready to cook up. Yep. So well, just about wrapped it up, I think. All right. See you later. Bye.